hello and welcome back to another wallface tutorial today in this video you will learn how to add a beautiful and full screen slider to your wallface website and the plugin we are using in this video is absolutely free and is compatible with almost all the page builders like gutenberg elementor breezy visual composer and so on so if you have a wallface website and you want to have a slider like these then you can watch this video and at the end of this video you will be able to have a slider like this inside your wordpress website so these sliders are made with the pro version of this plugin but we'll try our best and we'll achieve these looks so as i said this plugin is absolutely free so you can add this to your wordpress website and you can start creating the slider and working with this plugin is very easy as you can see you can just drag and drop things and you can add and remove things just by drag and drop you can also customize this with the visual editor you can change colors sizes and so on and you can also put transition and you can set the transition time and so on so this is the official website of this plugin if you want to learn more about this plugin then you can visit this website and you can learn more about this plugin as you can see real time slide editor and this is the best pre wordpress slider and that have some pre templates that you can use and you can import them and you can customize this and this is absolutely responsive for mobile and tablet devices so let's see how we can create a beautiful slider and, and then how we can import that slider to our wordpress website and we will check both the gutenberg and elementor version and as i said you can use this for almost all the editors so to install this plugin you just need to go to your wordpress dashboard here you can go to plugins and click on add new and here just search for smart slider 3 and you will see this plugin this is by next end and it have these reviews and this may change while you are watching this video but just install and activate this plugin I already have installed and activated this so I'll, once you install this you will have another menu here which is smart slider so just click on this and here you can create your slider so as you can see I already have a slider which is very basic one so I'll show you right now so this is the slider that I created for a client and he was demanding for this so I just created this this is not a good looking but we will create a more good looking in this video so let's go back and to create a slider you just need to click on new project and here you can start creating a new project or you can use a template so this is completely dependent on you if you are compatible with this one you can use this one but we will use this to use a template to make the video very short and let's click on this and as you can see we got a number of templates that we can use and we can import them and then we can customize so most of them are free we can use these type of sliders as you can see so you can pick any of these and you can customize that according to your need so in this video let's pick uh, this one so if you like this one then you can just click on import and as you can see we have successfully imported the slider and these are the slides inside their slider so we can edit them we can change the image and the text and so on and if you scroll down you can see the additional settings that we will discuss later in this video so to customize any of the slide you just need to click on edit and this will open up that window and here you can customize this slider according to your need for example you want to change the image you can change it right here so just click on this and here you can upload your own images so for example let's use this one so this will change the image and i think this slider has some problem so let's go back and let's import this again or let's import another one again to create a new slider you just need to go to smart slider and here as you can see this was the first slider that i created and this is the slider that we just imported 
and this is not working so just delete this and we will create a new one again we will go with a template and we can choose any of the sliders that we need for example let's choose this one so we will click on import and again these are the slides inside their slider so let's edit the first one and this one is working fine so let me show you how you can customize things for example you want to change this text so just click on this and here you can change the text for example and if you want to change this one then you can obviously write anything you want and if you want to change the button you can click on this you can change the text if you want to change the style you can go to style tab here you can choose the background color the text color and the font family and so on i am not discussing these in detail because this will make the video very long you can check these options according to your need for example let's pick another color so you can see the color has changed if you want to change this font family you can change right here like this and if you want to change the image again you can click on this you can go to style and you can choose an image and this time we will use this image And now as you can see the, the image has changed. So this is how you can customize things according to your need. You just need to click on the thing that you want to change. For example text. Here you can change the text. The button. The image and so on. If you want to add more elements to this. You can go to this tab. And here you can grab a heading. Like this. You can drag an image. If you want to and this is a button let's remove the image because we don't need this and we can add another button and as you can see these are not aligned so if you want to align this you can drag a column you can move this button right here and this one here and this is how this will align and let's move this to right so this is how you can change things okay now once you done changes you can just click on save and this will save their slide for you if you want to change the slide you can click here and you can pick another one and now you can customize this according to your need so the procedure is the same you can click on things and you can change them now let me show you how you can embed this on your website so we will go back and before embedding we have some settings over here as you can see this is the name of the slider this is the thumbnail that is showing on the dashboard which i'll show you right now and uh, here you can choose the size and this is the width and the height so you can customize this according to your need you can also customize things on the mobile and tablet these are the breakpoints so this is for the tablet and mobile view and this is the full width and this is the box so we need the full width to cover the whole area and uh, under controls you can customize the arrow keys sorry the arrows and the color of the arrows and so on and this will also work on touch on mobile and these are the bullets that appear on the slider so i'll show you right now and these are the button style the bullet style so you can check these options according to your need as well these are the animations the horizontal and you can choose any other if you want
and this is the auto play option so if you want to enable this this then the slider will auto play so let's enable this and uh, these are some settings for the auto play you can change the duration and stop on mouse or and so on you can also display a play button here so let's disable this because we do need this if you go to optimize you can optimize the images for the ACU and for the slow loading again these are the slides so these will fill the area and these are some options for the developer so you can also check them so these were some quick settings about the slider now let's see how we can embed this so we will save this and uh, we will go to general tab and this is the short code for this slider so we will just copy this and now to embed this we will go to pages and we'll create a new page for this just to show you how this works so i have a simple page so let's edit this and if you are not using elementor or any other page builder and you are using the simple gutenberg then you can embed the slider over here for example let's remove this and we will add a short code and we'll paste that code let's update the page and this is not working because we have to disable the gutenberg or something which i'll show you later in this video but for now let's remove this don't worry about this because i will solve this later in this video let's update the page and edit this with elementor and again here we will use a short code so let's paste that short code and update the page let's preview the page and here is the slider that we just created now this is not looking good because we have the title and the page layout so let's disable that we'll go to settings and we'll hide title and page layout will be full width and let's check this again okay we will enter the section and we'll make this full width and full width and that's it so this is how you can create a slider inside a wordpress website now this is not looking good because the image size is small you can use and design your own images for them and this will also work with touch as you can see i am touching it and this is sliding so this was the slider now as i showed you the page was not working so for that we will need to disable we will have to add the classic uh, plugin so let's go to plugin and add new and we will have to install this classic editor so let's install now activate this and we will go to pages and we'll edit that same page now this is not a necessary step but obviously i'll show you how to solve problems and we'll go back to office editor continue and uh, let's remove this i'll just paste the code we'll update this and this time we don't get any error so let's view the page and we have that slider over here so this is how you can create a beautiful slider for your wordpress website for free again you can add that plugin you can learn more about that plugin right here on this website so hope the video will help you if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next